Welcome, welcome, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this episode, I'll be showing you a simple but technical trick you can use for mono photo manipulation using your phone. I'm so very excited, I'm very very happy because in the past 3 days or 2 days, let's say 3 days, I've been able to get over 14,000 followers on Twitter and that is crazy because after my previous account got suspended, it was like there was no way I could do it, I just kept doing my thing and then God helping me, you guys came back to me and I'm so, so happy. Today I'm going to show you a trick to um, to celebrate <laughs> celebrate the big win because the big win for me, I'm really so happy because we're getting there, we're getting back and I want all of us to grow together. So I'm going to show you how you can do the simple editing trick with your phone. Let's go. So I closed this guy on Twitter. This is the picture I uploaded and this is the one I edited. Notice I censored the image because that guy cassava was coming up <laughs> So back to the topic first to get this done. You have to download and install PixArt mobile on your phone When you get that you have to open the app and let's get to work before we start I want you to click on the subscribe button and turn on my post notification Please hit the bell icon. I beg you. I beg you. Please hit the bell icon. So let's get started I'm going to open up the app right now after you've hit the subscribe button and turn on my post notification, you can do this step. First off, when you open the app, the next thing you should do is to click on the plus button and then select the image that you want to apply this effect to. In my own case, it's the naked guy. Next up, I have to select the dress choice I have made for him, and that means going. That means I'll have to go to the internet and download some pictures. And then I have to convert those pictures to PNG, which I did in my previous videos. So check out my previous videos to learn how I changed a non JPEG to um, PNG with transparent background, like this suit I'm trying to apply here. Next, I'm going to adjust this suit to make sure it fits the perspective that I need it to be, because I'm going to work. With, I'm going to be working with perspective. So I'm going to adjust it and fit it there. This will take a while, so I'm just going to speed it up so we can see what I'm talking about. So next, I'm going to do some background cleaning just to replace the previous picture, the image. Uh, just going to edit the background. So I'm going to take a new picture, select the background I want, and then just replace it and see. Uh, and then just that's what I'm going to do for this episode. Like the wall, I'm going to replace the wall to the wall like that, and then just you know what I'm talking about. If you want my previous video, you see how I did all this. So I'm just trying to explain how I did this. So draw the squad here to play, and I've got something to say. Yeah. I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make Next, I have to remove this guy's hand from the pocket of his jean as it's gonna like a black guy with a white hand What the fuck is happening? So, I have to take out his hand so it will correspond with our Photoshop and make it look real. So I'm going to use clone tool for that, which you saw how I did that. Speed run. Six a.m. and I'm up again. I got tired eyes, need a cup of blend. That's right. In the AM, that's my own. Alright, so I discovered the clone tool won't work, so I decided to click on add photo and then selected that PNG photo of the gene, and then I'm going to select one side of the clothes of the suit and I'm going to use it for uh, to replace the clone activity I was trying to do then you know it was not working out so I'm just going to cut and join that's what I'm going to do and it really worked it worked out well for me Play. I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I this took hours to make so don't judge me because I'm trying my best here so this took hours to make and you have to take your time to do this so you can see I'm always doing cut and join for the wrinkles on his, uh, for the, uh, what do you call it, ripple. <laughs> on the clothes, I just have to like take that and then adjust even the uh, base of the shirt. I did the same thing and, and then I used clone 2 to like, after I erase I used clone 2 to add some dapping there and there just to add more details. Although you won't see those details, but I just had to add those details. 
all right so play with it play with the clone tool and the rest and you get what you want <clears throat> In my veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day Alright, we're done with the shit, so easy, right? Next is the hand because this guy is not just keeping his hand straight, he's he folded his hand. So I have to use another image of a guy with suit with similar color to this suit and then with a folded hand kind of I have to search for this image and get it and then I just have to cut it out and replace it there. And then I have to drop the picture again. It just keeps going. <laughs> so select the images, the cutter tool to select the part of the hand I need, which is this exactly. So I'm going to select it out and I'm going to place it neatly on the image i'm going to adjust this neatly on the image since the other part of the body is useless right now we have to select the hands so we can place the hand on the chest like it's pledging and to do that we have to select another picture of the original picture and then use the cutout tool and select the hand the fingers and every little detail we need from that image and that is what we're going to do exactly i'm just going to leave it in the chest and then we are going to play with the hands next and just keep playing with them until we get the perfect thing this took time, this took a lot of time, so I want you to watch and see how I did it. Trust me, if I leave this video to run in real time, you're gonna get bored because this took enough time. So I'm just trying to explain the basis of how I did it, so you don't get stressed out by doing it. You just know, you just see how I did it, you have an idea of how to do it, because photoshopping is not a step-by-step -step thing. It's something you have to come up with your own creative ideas to handle different problems with your own solution. Okay, so be creative. be creative. Next, we are trying to cover up the hand, the straight hand from the previous suit we added. It's getting complicated, I know. But we're going to add um, a layer to it just like this. And, and then we are going to adjust the brightness and the color using the temperature. We're going to make the temperature cold so it will look cold and it will add this blue tint to our suit. And we're going to increase the brightness or reduce the brightness. Just play around it so we can get the exact thing we need. And we're going to send this image to the back so it will not overlap the hand. So it's so simple when you're doing it. Practice with this image. Yeah, I did some error, trias, erase, restore, and the rest. And then next, I have to use a crop to import a new picture from the original picture and then just have to replace the um the gate at the back there okay. As well, this hand gave me a headache. I won't lie. I struggled with this hand a lot. I tried my best. I tried everything I do. All the trick I could use. I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried. This hand gave me a problem. Well, but, well, I did it anyway. So, it's just try and error. You have to try your luck try all that things and see if it works you just have to have the idea in your head so yeah that is it i just did that i worked and uh, replaced imported i did so many crazy things here just just to get the right thing with the clone tool and the rest so i use the clone tool to fill the missing gap in the neck <laughs> yeah. and that is done we're almost done we're done i use clone tool there also and then i crop and that's it that is it that is it and that i'm done with the image i have to open lights room and edit this picture i have no explanation here i was just trying different options like i always do in different apps so i just try different options to look for a better quality and there you have it guys we are done with this editing and now you just have to save your file and post it online so i'm going to show you the before and the after 
Please, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and turn on my post notification. Thank you for watching to this point. Thank you. See you in the next video.